What is up guys? Today um, I thought I'd film a little different video for y'all and it's gonna be kind of fun. It's gonna be kind of fresh. And that video today is going to be like my favorite of 2018. So basically the reason why I wanted to film this video was because I realized it's been a year, a whole, a whole darn year. And it's been a year of me being in makeup. So that's that's really that's really fun. That's literally 365 days of makeup products and trying things out and doing my eyebrows every single day. It's not really every single day, but eyebrows, buying so many products and stuff like that. So I just wanted to do a little mini recap of my whole year, my favorite products things that I use constantly, mainly because it's the only thing I have. And then just, you know, chit chat. So let's get on to this video. All right, so this video may not be as like funny as it usually is on my channel, you know, which is like having a good time here. But I thought it would just be fun because I like to look at what people buy, what they like. So I wanna share what I like. So the first product is before it's after moisturizing, before putting on primer. It's the Olay Mist, and it's in calming and energizing. I use calming if I shave, and then I just put it on this part of my face, and then energizing if I need to energize my face and I feel tired. So I just spray it on my face. Sometimes I just spray it by itself, and I walk out of the house, and it's fine. So those are the first two things that I really like. And now I'm just gonna go in order of like how I do my face and share with you guys products that I like. So first things first are these brows, the boys that I call them all the time. Um, I like using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I use it in the shade Dark Brown and the reason why I bought the Dip Brow Pomade is because I thought I am just buying pencils and you know what, if I spend $18 on this one product, I would have it for longer. And so that's basically what I did. So now, after that, I use a different concealer than my under eye concealer to carve out my brows. Because once again, we don't want sticker brows. And that concealer is the Wet n Wild Photo Concealer, Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Tawny, and it really does match my skin so well, and I just really love that product for my eyebrows to carve them out. Now, fun part, my eyes. What the fuck is that? I like to use the Urban Decay Treat Yourself, that's not what it's called, but it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and the reason why I like it is because sometimes if I have oily lids and I'm not gonna wear eyeshadow, I just pack it on and then it just really keeps my eyelids not looking shiny and it's clear so it doesn't give a tint. Because I do have the MAC Paint Pot in Paint Julie, but that one does have a, like a shade to it so it gives my eyelids the wrong shade since it's more peachy and I'm neutral toned. So the Urban Decay Primer Potion is where it's at. And so, moving right along, moving right along. My favorite eyeshadow palette is the Norvina one. Now, I know a lot of these products are the products that I put in my, like, simple get ready with me or something like that. That's because those are the products that I tend to grab the most. And this is why this is in my favorites. Um, as you can tell, I put it on my eyes today. I use the shades... Celestial, and then Drama, because we live for the drama, and also Love, the pink one. And I just did a really simple eye look because I was like, um, I'm not going anywhere, so I might as well just put something on really simple from this palette onto my eyes to film this video. And that's basically what I did. So I really like this one. I also like Modern Renaissance, but this one takes the cake. So that's basically my favorite palette of this year. And then, you know, the runner-up, the runner-up's modern renaissance. So now that we're done with our eyes, I'm going to move back on to my face. My favorite primer of the year. Um, I do have a couple of primers, but this is like the one that I basically only use all year. And it's the Fenty Beauty um, Instant Retouch Primer. 
It smells really good. It smells really good. And it smells really good. If I want like other things like blurring, I'll use a professional sample that I have. I'm now using, as you've seen in my last video, and if you haven't watched my last video, check it out. I know New Year's passed, but it's still a fun, fresh time in that video. So I have the Becca Ever Matte Primer that I could also use, but I just really like the Fenty Primer because it smells good. And I feel like it does work with the Fenty Beauty foundation, which is also my favorite foundation. Um, I remember I talked about it, yes, again, in my last video, mainly because it really does, um, it really does hold up in, like, humidity, sweat. I use this when I do, like, performances, and I'm sweaty all up here, and it doesn't move. So I really love that. I also wear it to school, and it's hot and humid, and it, it holds up. It really does hold up, so that's why I really like it. And moving on, so my favorite concealer is, for my under eyes and stuff like that, is the NARS Radiant Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade Medium 1 Custard. I'm supposed to be in Medium 1.5 Macadamia, but they didn't have that shade. So I just bought this one. And honestly, it's not even that bad. Like, it looks fine underneath my eyes and stuff like that. So it really does work to brighten and highlight those types of areas and 10 out of 10 would recommend. So, onto my contour. I actually never used to contour, which is pretty funny because I used to think bronzing and contouring were the same thing. So I would just put my bronzer in like the areas where you should contour, but I wouldn't go ham to show these boys off. But now I am all about contouring right here because I noticed that my cheekbones naturally have like this really nice little cut right here. So I just like to add more powder into it to basically make it look like... Like that. And I use the Anastasia Powder Contour Kit. Now I used to use um, these two colors, but now I use these two colors. Mainly because, I don't know, I just thought this one was like too warm. So I just stopped using that one altogether. I might go back to it later, like if I get tan in the summer. But you know, for now, we're just going to stick with the middle and then the first one in the palette. And I actually really like these brightening shades. The peach, the peachy, the pinky more one, the more pink one. And then the yellow one. I like to use that when I'm not wearing like concealer or foundation or anything. I'll just pack it on right underneath my eyes and it really does make my face look brighter. So that's um, all I do for contouring. And the next bronzer. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. My favorite setting powder of this year is actually the Cody Airspun powder. Um, I like this powder because I know drag queens use it. I know that their face don't move. So I thought I should buy this powder, mainly because Tati was talking about it at the time that I bought it, but they really convinced me with all these drag queens using this powder. Um, I know the smell is like a little, like a little, but I actually don't mind it. So yeah, Cody Hairspun powder, I really love it. Sometimes I use it just to bake, sometimes I put it all over my face, and yeah, I really do like this powder. There's so much in here, so I feel like I will never run out of this. And if I do run out of it, um, it's not that expensive. It's like $7. So that is great. And yeah, that's my favorite setting powder for my face. Bronzer. It's actually a really good one. So I have about like three different bronzers this year, but this one, because there's like so many different shades from this brand, it really stuck with me. And that's the Anastasia bronzer um, in saddle. And it really does give my face like that tan, that tan look that I want, because I am actually very white. I am not that white, to be honest, but I am whiter than I want to be. So that just gives me the nicest tan face, complexion, everything that I live for. 
So yeah, once again, the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in saddle. I also, my other bronzers I have are the Patrick Star bronzers. If it weren't for this one, I would use this one a lot. Mainly because it does also give me like some nice color payoff on my cheeks. The last bronzer that I have is Hula by Benefit, but we don't talk about that one because it's, I, I, um, depotted it. So now it's in a Z palette and I don't feel like grabbing it. But yeah, as you can tell, the Patrick Star one is a little bit lighter, but it does definitely give me a tan. So if I'm not looking, if I don't want to look too tan, I guess I could use that one. Or if like, um, I'm not wearing translucent powder under my eyes, I'll just put that one on. Mainly because of the way that translucent powder makes my face look. So it really depends on the day. Now moving on to blush. My favorite blush actually I don't have that many high-end blushes except for that Becca Cosmetics like little face palette. I have the e.l.f. palette which is my favorite blush. I used to use this blush all the time but because I've been like running out of time before school I don't use it anymore. But if I do want blush like to just walk out of the house and like no other makeup on I'll use the e.l.f. one. I like to use these two bottom shades. Um, it doesn't come like this like in this like arrangement I, I made it myself because you can pop them out in the back so yeah I like to use these two and I'm wearing it today I don't know if you can tell because of these beauty lights but I also like to look sunburned sometimes like definitely in the summer I like to look sunburned but wear your sunscreen children do not get sunburned in 2019 we left that in the past because we want to keep this skin looking what so yeah, wear your sunscreen and just fake it with blush. Like, if you really want to look sunburned that bad, just wear blush. Like, honestly. So now, let's move on to setting spray. Because this is how I do my face. I don't put on highlighter, lips, I like finish my eyes and stuff until I set my face. And then I use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I feel like this is not a surprise to you guys. I use it like you know, in all three videos that I've ever made, I like this spray. Mainly because it smells, it smells good, it smells fresh, and the mist is so fine that it doesn't like, like, you don't feel like you just got hit by, like, you don't feel like you were just on Splash Mountain or um, those water rides where they go down the hill and you get splashed with water. No, this is like, you walk out and it's a drizzle, like, it's just raining, like, drizzling. You feel like you're in a movie, you feel like you're just walking in like a garden and the birds are chirping and you're floating on air. Like that's basically what this gives you. So yes, 10 out of 10 <laughs> would recommend. So now that your setting spray is on, um, I also like to come in with the Bretman Rock Highlighting Palette, The Babe in Paradise. His collaboration with Morphe. Now the one shade that I really like to use is Get Laid. It, I'm wearing it right now. Basically all the products in this video that I've mentioned is on my face. I did my whole face with all of these products. So yes, I like that shade. I don't know, um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's the only shade dented in this whole palette because I love using it. But no, yeah, I really like Get Laid. It's a really nice shade. It's not too golden. It's not too like light. It just really is a nice. He really he really hit it with this palette because you got everyone covered. Um. So now that the highlight is on, I like to come in with my eyes, like the rest of my eyes. I like to use the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner mainly because of the way that it's shaped. It's easy to hold. And the tip is so fine. Can you even see the tip? No, because it's so fine. That's how fine it is. It really is like really easy to use. Like you can draw, oh my God, that's like the horrible line, like the worst line ever. The reason why I like this liner is basically because it's so easy to use. And like when it draws the line, it doesn't give like splotchy patches of black and like your skin. It really does give like an even like line and it's very black and it's matte and it doesn't like move. 
as you can tell. So I really do like that. And I don't wear liner often. If I do wear liner, it's mainly for Instagram photos, like not gonna lie. Or if I'm doing like a cut crease, I don't really do makeup, like extreme makeup like this often. So whenever I do, it's basically for Instagram. But if I wanted to use a liner, of course, it would be this one. So now liner is done. I put on my most favorite mascara. Man Eater by Tarte. So I do have like about three other mascaras. I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex, I have the Lash Paradise, and then it's a beauty one. But I just realized I don't grab those often. I actually went on this whole like month, like months long thing of using the Too Faced mascara. The only reason why I don't like this mascara is because of the wand. The product was like built up, actually, I'll show you because it's also happening with my Lash Paradise one. The product will build up on the wand and I just don't like that. So I don't know if you can like see it, but there is so much product on this. And I know that like, you can like wipe it off on the sides, but I just don't like that because there's just so much product on there and like, ugh, I don't like it. So that's why I like this one because the brush That's why I like the Tarte one because the brush is not like how those brushes are. It's like a rubber one and it really does make my lashes look so much longer. And now lashes. I feel like people don't talk about this, but the dual lash glue Okay, I don't people talk about this, but like the dual lash glue, I like this one because I used to use this Ardell one and it was the one that you can like paint on, but the only pro about this one is you don't have to wait for the glue to like tack up to put on your eyes. You can like paint it right on and apply your lashes and they'll stick. The only thing that I hate about it is that it hurts to pull off. I don't know what about it, but it hurts. So when I put on the dual lash glue, it definitely feels much more better. It feels like more rubbery. That one got a little bit more crusty and like crusty don't mix with me. So we moved on from that in 2018 and we're moving in with dual lash glue in 2019. And for my lashes, I use the Eyelore Lashes, their Luxe Collection. This is the Style Opulent. I really like this one because it has like shorter hairs in the inner corner and then it flares up and out in the outer corners and it really does make my lashes look so nice and kind of natural because they're not that full. There's like spaces in between each hair, like ties or whatever they call it. I don't really know. I don't make lashes. I just wear them. Sometimes. I don't wear them all the time. Sometimes. I did actually wear these lashes with no makeup and people actually really liked my makeup, that look, because I was, I was like literally just wearing the lashes and like it looked so good. I felt like it pulled the whole face together because sometimes ugh, lashes just take kind of a long time, but for these, I'll make it work. So yeah, basically that's my whole face, but we can't forget this last thing. My favorite lips. I liked the lippy pencils from Colourpop. These two came with the Bretton and Rock um, collaboration, and I've been finding myself really liking to use the BFF number three pencil. Yeah, so this is a BFF number three pencil. I'm wearing it today on my lips, and their pencils are so like they glide on like nothing, like as if it was just butter. Not hard butter, like kind of melted butter. And like they just glide on so nicely. And then from that liner, I put on Jeffree Star's Gemini shade. And it looks really nice. I didn't expect the shade to be what it was. Because in the bottle, it kind of looks different. But it does look really nice. I do have a lot of other Jeffree Star. I do have a bunch of other Jeffree Star shades. But I felt like this one would match the best with his eye look. I was actually going to use Deceased, but I felt like Deceased was a little bit too monochromatic with this look. So I decided to just change it up. And last but not least, like the Holy Grail product, My Life. Because um, 
So when I go to school, I basically do my eyes, my eyebrows, and if you watch my like simple get ready with me, like the second video I ever made, um, I don't do much for school. I put in a little bit of effort, but not, not too much. But this is what I bring to school. I re this used to be the only thing that I would bring to school besides a blotting powder. And that is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. I love this gloss so much. I'm not even wearing any. Let's put some on right now, actually. Okay, so I put some on. And I really like this one mainly because, again, the smell is really nice. But even when it feels like there's no lip gloss left, it still feels like it's working to moisturize my lips and also it still does give a glow. The only time that it doesn't give a glow is if I like wipe it off. So yeah, I really do like this lip gloss. And it's universal, so like anybody can use it, which is great. But it's also um, a little bit tinted, so when I wear like a full face to school, I don't like wearing lip colors. So I just put this on and it does give like a nice color to my lips, but not too much. So. That's why I really do like this one. And yeah, that's basically my whole face, my whole favorite products of this year. It's been a fun and fresh time in 2018. So I'm really excited for what 2019 is to bring. You know, maybe um, maybe I'll film more videos this year. I graduating this year. I'm a senior in high school. So I really do hope after graduation to film more videos. Actually, this whole semester of school, I really hope to film more because it's my last semester. It's my easiest, hopefully it's my easiest semester. So, you know, I will make more time to film and edit videos and basically just have fun with y'all on this YouTube channel because YouTube is fun. It's fresh. It's fun to put videos out there and stuff like that. So, yeah, those are all my favorite beauty products of 2018. Basically, my whole year in beauty. So, I am excited for what 2019 is to bring, you know, just more products. Fenty Beauty is coming out with their concealers, setting powders, and like new brushes. I'm already living for that. So I'm going to buy that when that comes out because I have a gift card for Sephora Christmas haul. Um, just kidding. I'm not going to do one of those because I don't want to. And basically, yeah. Last thing. Last thing. How can I forget this? I really like this lip balm. It's from EOS and it's their clear crystal lip balms. The reason why I like this one is because it has like no wax in it and I feel like waxy um, lip balms make my lips peel. So if you want like nice lips that don't get crusty ever, um, I recommend the EOS crystal lip balm. This is in hibiscus peach and it's it's actually pretty cool. It's a clear lip. It's clear. And I just found myself having the best lips ever. Like, I completely cut out all waxy lip balms. And yesterday, I put on a waxy lip balm because it had sunscreen in it and I didn't want to get sunburned because I was in the sun. I was at the beach. But I noticed my lips got so dry from that. And I hated it. So I had to, I had to scrub my lips and then I put this one on overnight and it really did help. So, yeah, that's the last product I'll be talking about in this video. Remember, follow me on Instagram at Gucci Mink with a V instead of a U. Twitter is the same thing, at Gucci Mink. Um, you already hear, hopefully, you heard about my video from somewhere else. But if not, that's okay. If you just found this video, I hope you liked it. Subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Ring, ring my bell. Ring my bell. And you'll get to know when I upload every month. Because that's basically my, my, my schedule. So I kind of hope to film like two videos every month. And comment. If you want to comment, comment something nice. Comment something fun. Comment something fresh. Comment some ideas if you want to like watch something else. If you want something specific and things like that, I'll leave all these products down below in the, the in the description. I'll leave all my social medias down in the description, and yeah, that's basically it. So as always, love you the mostest.